In this video, we will show you how to replace your wiper transmission. Let's get started. The wiper transmission is going to be located behind your plastic cowl. To remove the plastic cowl, first you have to remove each of your wiper arms. You'll notice that you have a plastic protective cover over each of the mounting nuts for those arms. Remove the cover, give it a quick inspection, and set it aside. Once you have it off of there, continue on to your 15 millimeter mounting nut. Quick inspection, set it aside as well. Once you've removed the mounting nut, the next thing you want to do is carefully grab onto this arm. You're going to try to give it a little bit of a wiggle up and down. What we're trying to do is break free this area at the pivot point. We need to remove the arm from the mounting shaft. Once you start getting some movement from the area, carefully lift it up and away. Be extremely careful around your windshield. Now let's do the same to the driver's side wiper arm. Sometimes a little bit of penetrant might help you out a little bit. The next thing you want to do is put the hood down. With the hood in the down position, you'll find that you have several Phillips head screws making their way across the plastic cowl. Let's remove all of them that we can see from this angle. And there should be one right here, but ours is missing. The next thing you want to do is put the hood in the upright position. We're going to remove six more Phillips head screws. There should be one here, and then making their way down across the front. With all of your mounting screws out of there, continue on by carefully grabbing onto the plastic cowl. We're going to try to lift up on the passenger side first because you'll notice that the driver's side makes its way underneath this. Once you have it removed, give it a quick inspection and set it aside. Now that we have that out of the way, we have a nice clear view of our wiper transmission area. Now the next thing that we need to do is move along to the center nut here. This nut holds the regulator to the motor shaft. As you can tell, we can't really access it from this position. So what you need to do is make your way safely into the passenger compartment, put the key in the on position, and turn on your wiper motor. When you do that, we're looking to try to get this up and out of the way. Once you have it in the proper position, go ahead and turn off the key. Now before we continue on by removing our nut, the next thing you want to do is use something that you can mark the area with. Obviously it's metal, so you can use a crayon or a paint marker of some sort. What we want to do is essentially make note of the direction of this mounting shaft for the wiper transmission. Now basically this comes across diagonally right to this area. Now that I have a mark on this, we can continue. Use a 13 millimeter to remove your mounting nut. Once that's off of there, go ahead and grab onto this, give it a little wiggle, and remove it from the motor located behind it. If it doesn't want to break free, commonly you can use some pliers.
Now we can move this around as needed. With that broken free, we can remove our three eight millimeter headed mounting bolts. You'll find that you have one in the center and one along each side of the wiper transmission. Let's continue on with a 10 millimeter. We're going to start removing the wiper motor from the area. You'll find that you have three bolts holding it in place. Now let's move along to dislodging this plastic area of the cowl as well. For this, you'll find that you have two T27 mounting screws that hold it in place. We'll remove this one. There we are. Now let's follow this over a little bit further towards the passenger side. At this point, we should have plenty of slack. At this point, we can reach inside here. Careful for any pinch points. We're going to take the wiper transmission and bring it so this arm is away from this area. Now we can grab onto this and we're going to have to use a little bit of muscle. You're going to want to pull on this as much as you can and try to work the wiper transmission out of the area. It's going to require a little bit of force. Be extremely careful for your windshield. Twist this. There it is, friends. Okay friends, let's get ready for our installation. We'll have a look at the back side. You'll notice that you have one hole for your mounting bolts and you have a second hole for the mounting stud, which is located inside of this area. There we are. Let's carefully bring this down into position, putting that mounting stud in and through that back hole. Now let's continue with our three mounting bolts. You'll find that you have two that look the same, that go on either side, and the one that looks different is for the center. Let's try to get all these started in. Once you have both sides started, continue with the center. Once they're all started, snug them up. Slide that motor into place and start in all three of your mounting bolts. After that, snug them up and then torque them to 62 inch pounds.
Let's have a look at our original wiper regulator. We remember that we marked it. The mark on ours will be different than yours. But of course, you do want to make sure that you match it up with the new one. So wherever your mark was on the original, make sure that you line up the arm on the brand new one. Here we are. Once I have it close to your position, I'll start that nut on there. Snug it up. Once that's snug, torque it to 159 inch pounds. The next thing you want to do is make your way back into the passenger compartment. Put the key in the on position and put your wiper motor in the rest position. So essentially turning back off the wipers. Now once you've done that, make your way back underneath the cowl area and just pay attention to the rods. We want to make sure that it's back in the original position as when we removed the original wiper assembly. As you can tell, ours looks perfect, so we can continue. Let's reinstall our two torque screws. Now it's time to put on our plastic cowls. Let's start with the driver's side. Before we put it in place, look at the back side. You'll find that you have three tabs that protrude down and out. Looking at the body of the vehicle, just underneath the windshield, you're going to find the three holes for those to line up with. Let's put this in position and lock it in with those tabs. Once you have that down there, continue on to the passenger side. Same thing. On this one, you're going to have two locking tabs. Now we can start putting in our mounting screws. Now we had one that was missing from this corner here. You'd want to start that in, assuming you have it, and then continue on down the line. You only want to start these in. Don't snug them up yet, just in case you have to move the plastic cowl around to line anything up along the way. Now let's continue on with our longer screws. Those longer screws are going to go across the top here. We'll finish with the corner screws later. Get that one started. Now that we have all of our lower screws in, let's continue on by snugging these up. should be one down in here. Now let's go ahead and close the hood a little bit so we can put in our corner bolt. Now let's continue on by putting on our wiper arms. Make sure you have the one for the driver's side on the driver's side of the vehicle. It's the shorter arm of the two. 
Now when you put this on here, you only want to place it on first without tightening the mounting nut. Pay attention to the angle of the wiper blade in comparison to the windshield. You want to make sure it's sitting perfectly perpendicular to the black area of the windshield down along the bottom here. You can see it. Let's get that right in place. You want to make sure that as it comes down, it's not going to be too close to the plastic down here as well. Once you have it in position, continue on with your mounting nut. Snug it up. Torque each of these to 17 foot-pounds. Install your plastic caps. Okay, now that we've got it fully installed, let's give them a test. Perfect. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.